Hey everyone, Chris Cobb here with Lightstomp LLC, and today I am going to show you in Unity how to make a sky like the one shown here using Unity's High Definition Render Pipeline, or HDRP. So let's get started. The first thing I'll do is create a new scene, and I'm going to use a basic outdoors HDRP. And we're going to have some default game objects here, including a main camera, a sun, which is a celestial body, a sky and fog volume. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust our sun so we will select this in the hierarchy. Now with the shape, we can adjust angular diameter. So let's set our angular diameter at 50. We can change our flare tint. We can adjust our flare size. Uh, let's change this to 2.5. The fall off, we can make this a nice thin rim. Take a look at emission. We can change the temperature here. Uh, I'm going to go with kind of a blue for this example. Let's turn down the intensity by quite a lot for now. We'll go over to our sky and fog volumes. We can go into add override type exposure and I'm going to change this to fix and check our fixed exposure box and adjust this to our liking. This will keep our exposure at the same no matter what angle we have our camera at. So for example, let's set this to six for now. The next override I'm going to mess around with here is volumetric clouds. Let's go ahead and enable this in the inspector. I'd like to keep this on a simple cloud control for the example. Let's set our preset to stormy. And we can tweak around with other aspects of the clouds. Uh, let's go ahead and set our curvature to 0.5. We can change our lowest cloud altitude. So if we turn this way up, they won't start at the ground like they were before. Let's use something around 2,500. We can also adjust the cloud thickness. Let's go back up to about 25,000 for the example. And under lighting and volumetric clouds, it looks like the lower the value for these will give us darker clouds, which is what I am going for in this example. Let's give the sunlight dimmer about a 0.5, so we have a little bit of lighting on the tops of the clouds, or whatever angle the sun's facing. And we can go back up now. Let's adjust the shape offset by dragging over one of the axes just to where we can get a good overcast, but also be able to see our sun or moon, whatever you want to call it. And we can also go back to our sun object and adjust the colors of the surface. Let's give it kind of a pinkish tint to go with the red flare. We can mess around a little bit more with our flare fall off and coloring. And as you can see, we have a basic uh, dark blue colored sky. We can change this and actually give it a texture and we can use a cube map to do so. This would be our space emission texture. So let's go ahead and enable all under space. And I have a few cube maps here. I'm going to select this 4K night sky I have. And now we can adjust our space emission multiplier. And as you can see, we now have a cooler looking background for our sky. So let's put this on maybe 25. Now I'm going to add just a quick terrain. Let's adjust our position to fit in a bit better. Go ahead and go over to paint terrain. I have paint texture selected. Let's add a new layer. Select a grass texture. And then we'll go back under paint texture, back in paint terrain. Let's go into sculpt, noise. Now we'll just add a little bit of background to our terrain by adjusting the height with this noise brush. And then I'm going to go here and add in a quick prefab for a player I already have. You can add whatever you'd like just to be able to run around and check out your new scene. And let's see how it looks so far. Not too shabby. So this can get you a basic start to creating a pretty cool looking sky in Unity. Any questions, just leave a comment, subscribe for more. I will be doing many more lessons in Unity as I develop. Thank you for watching.